a lot of ways to add events to Fantastical, but one of my favorites is proposals. With proposals, you can pick specific times for a proposed meeting and send a list of those times to another person or a group of people, and then they can select the one that works for them. It's a way to let you really control when a meeting takes place. In contrast with openings, you're not giving blocks of time to people where they can select a block within those uh, time periods. Instead, you're suggesting specific times and they have to choose among those specific times. Let me show you how this works. So I'm going to create a new event. I'll double click here uh, on Monday at uh, 2.15 or 14.15 if you're on the 24 hour clock. We're gonna call this the team status meeting and I'm gonna make it one hour and I'm gonna put it on the work calendar. So I've got that meeting here on my calendar. And if I just clicked add event, it would add the event to my calendar and I'd be done. But this is a proposal and I wanna give the people on the team some other options. Uh, I'm gonna hit the propose another time button. And when I do that, a couple things happen. The first is it adds another proposed time the following day at the same time. But it also opens up this entire interface, which I'm gonna go through in a minute, showing you all the different settings you have for proposals. Now, once these are on the screen, you can start fiddling with them. I'm gonna move these around. I'm gonna make it at two o'clock exactly. I'll propose another one, and I'm gonna move that over to four o'clock on Monday. I don't have to just click this button though. I could also just double click on the calendar. Like I'll double click here and add one for three. Whoops, I'll add one for three o'clock and I will double click on uh, Wednesday morning, put one there, and now I've got this nice list of proposed times for this meeting. If I want, I can remove one of these, like I'm gonna get rid of this one on Tuesday at two, and that'll disappear, and I've got the list of proposals. So I wanna send that out to people, and there's a couple ways to do that. The first is, I could just put an email in here and it will auto send an email with an invite and I'll show you that in a minute. So I'm gonna use my help address. Let's say I've got someone on that account that I want to attend the meeting. You can also create a link and when you create a link, it gives you a link you can share with anybody and they can also sign up for the various proposals. So if I just tap that, it turns on the link. I'm gonna turn it off for just a minute though because when you have the settings down here, some of them change depending on the link. You can have it add the event automatically when the person replies. And this is what I do when I'm just sending it to one person. I'll turn it on here, and that way if the person says, oh, I wanna do it on Monday at 4 p.m., then once they do that, it'll get added automatically and I don't need to take any further action. But when I have a group of people, I like to add it manually because there may be multiple times that the whole group's available and I want the final decision. So I'll click manually. You will note that when you turn on to the option to create a fantastic out link, you lose that option. It's always manually when you do that. Uh, you can have it add to a specific calendar. I'm happy with it going to the work calendar. You can have it notify me after each response, after all responses are received or never notify me. I keep it on to notify me after each response. And then you can have the invitees being able to see each other's responses or not. I usually keep this turned on like this. So I've got my settings, I've got my proposed times, I'm going to send an invite out to this address, and I'm also going to create a fantastic Al link. So let's push the button and do this. And now fantastic Al is creating a link for me to this proposed meeting. I can copy it to uh, the buffer here just by hitting copy link and be done. You can also see that link if you just look at the properties of the event, you can see there's the link there. I can get that later if I want. And at this point, I've already sent an email out to help at Max Sparky. It goes out automatically, and I've got the link. So here I am in my email client, and I've got the email to the help at maxsparky.com. And you can see there's the email telling me that there are some suggested or proposed times for this meeting. If I click on view event proposal, it's going to open up that uh, interface and I can go ahead and fill that out. I'm gonna say I'm available on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then I'll go ahead and submit the response. But actually, before I do that, I'm gonna add a quick comment to, and I'll submit the response. 
Once I do that, the recipient gets a notification that they'll receive a follow-up once the time has been confirmed. So now I'm back at my Fantastic Hal window, and if I click on the meeting, you'll see that I've already got a response from help at maxsparky.com. That account has already signed up. If I go to the invitees button, I can even see what times that person has agreed to. And you can see I've got uh, the Monday at 2 p.m., Tuesday at 3 p.m., and Wednesday at 10 a.m., but Tuesday at 4 p.m. or 1600, uh, that person is not available. So I've got something here. If I click on comments, I can see that that person even left a comment. Now let's take a look at doing this with the links. So once again, I'll just double click on the event and I'll copy that link. I could also click the sharing button to share the proposed link with the sharing menu, but I've got it in my uh, paste buffer here and I'm gonna jump over to Safari. So now I'm over in Safari and I'm Gunther instead of David. And let's say I got this link from David and I put it in my browser. This is what I'd see. I've got my name and email address here and the proposed times. And I'm going to pick this one and this one and say those are the only two I'm available. I can also add a comment and I can submit the response. I'll just scroll down here and click submit response. So now I've got a response both from the help account and from Gunther. And you can see that those are showing up on this confirmation. Gunther also gets this view that says he'll get a follow-up once the time is set. So now I'm back over in Fantastic Al, and you can see it's already updated for Gunther. If I look at invitees, I see not only the availability for the help account, but also Gunther. And scrolling through, you can see there's only really one day that's available for everyone. It's Monday uh, at 2 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Before I do, I'll check comments and see, oh, that Gunther's bringing chips and salsa. Okay, we're good. I'll hit confirm and confirm the time. And now it is going to be set. And Fantastic Hal is going to um, update it and just give me that event and remove all the other proposals. It'll also send out confirming emails to the help account and Gunther. And that's really all there is to creating proposed events picking available times for you and sending them out to people via email or via link, and then checking and confirming and picking the time that works for everyone. Proposals are awesome because you never again have to send that email that says, hey, I'm available Monday after three and Tuesday before nine and which works for you. And then you get the bounce backs. You just send those availabilities, let them pick one and you're done. Like I said earlier, these are different from openings because with openings, people can pick any time within your available blocks. With proposals, you are making very specific options and they're picking among those. There are circumstances for both openings and proposals. Fantastic Al has both of them. And the good news is they work with anybody. They don't have to be Fantastic Al users to respond to proposals or openings. All of this is natively integrated into Fantastic Al and makes setting meetings a breeze.